Hi friends, it's Amy at Doki Doki Forest, and today we are going to scrape some paint. But we're going to do more than that because today we are working on the Janet Nash prompts from April 10th. Janet Nash has a live stream every Monday, and each week she pulls out five or six random prompts, and then if you would like, you can make a page with them. So let's scrape a rainbow because that was one of our prompts. And this was really fun. Janet had been scraping some rainbows on paper, and so when I saw Make a Rainbow, I thought, I'm gonna make a messy rainbow with scraping some paint. That would just be so fun. And I liked that it was a little messy, so I still had some blobs of paint. So I was just trying to smooth those out, but then I kind of liked the colors all mixing and um, even though at first I thought I was going to make sort of a neat rainbow I wound up just really enjoying playing and making it a more messy kind of rainbow where the colors were all over the place and then I have extra paint that gets on the card I'm using so I'm just wiping it on the left there because that's just kind of a spare page right now that I will create something on but this week for my Janet Nash prompts, I am just going to be using one page. Well, I guess I'm actually using two pages, sort of. All the prompts are going to be on the rainbow page, but then I'll actually include something on that scraped paint page as well, but that won't show up until the very end. So that's my little teaser of something to look forward to. And of course, I will link Janet Nash down below so you can check out her channel. She has amazing process videos, her live streams. I mean, I think I talk about Janet every week. <laughs> and I'm sure that you all know her, but you know what? We just have to give her full credit for so much inspiration that gets us through our weeks. And her Monday live streams are just such a gentle way to begin what could be a crazy week. And it's like a little, a little oasis. Um, so this is prompt number two here, tear up painty paper. So I had some paper that I was playing around with some acrylic paint and some paint splatter on. So I am ripping that up and putting that on. I'm not quite sure at this point what exactly the painty paper was doing. It's just kind of part of the background, but I thought it kind of looks like a celebration, maybe some confetti. It's a little big for confetti, but you know. And here is another prompt, which was teddy bear. I love teddy bears. They're so cute. Teddy bears of all shapes and sizes. And of course, Pooh Bear. Love Pooh Bear. And then in Japan, they have a super cute mascot for the post office. And his name is Postkuma, which is like post and bear. Kuma is bear in Japanese. So super cute. So I do have some... Um, I, I actually have a big teddy bear of Poskuma. I might be saying that wrong. I can never remember if it's Poskuma or Posukuma because there's like a U in there. So I apologize if I'm saying it wrong, but you get the idea. I do have to say that growing up, I didn't have a teddy bear. I had this purple rabbit that I think somebody must have made. I'm trying to remember who would have made it. Probably my grandmother or my great aunt because it was like a corduroy material and it was purple and it had button eyes and a handmade little dress. Um, so I had a, can you say teddy rabbit? Probably not. <laughs> so I had a bunny rabbit and then I had a stuffed animal horse that I loved. I loved it so much. I had it with me all the way through college and I still have it now, but it is so worn and grubby. Yeah, you don't want to see it. <laughs> I almost threw it out. My kids were like, no, you can't throw that out. Mommy, that was yours. I said, okay. So it's just in a bag because the eyes are worn off and it's all scraggly. I think it has like two pieces of yarn left for a mane and a tail. And yeah, it's not looking, it's not looking its best, let's say. And here are some friends for the teddy bears. Now, one of the prompts was fan. And I decided to go with fans like your biggest fans so these are the teddy bears biggest fans they are his friends the other little plushies and as you can see we have a three-legged puppy now that's because i kind of ran out of room on the paper or i suppose i could have put the leg out um at an angle but i decided to just give him three legs as if like he was so well loved that by accident one of his legs fell off 
but he was lovingly sewn up and fixed and nothing has stopped him. He is still getting around just fine. You know how puppies are. Nothing can get them down. They can persevere and get through anything. And they also help us get through anything. I am kind of babbling. Sorry about that. That's just what I do sometimes when I'm thinking about things to say. <laughs> so let's paint this teddy bear. I've got my watercolors out. I have my white gel pen at the ready. It's on standby always. And I will just tell you the other prompts here. So the prompts for April 10th, you know, teddy bear, you know, fan. And don't worry, I do actually add like a paper fan as well, but I thought it was cute to have the play on words. And actually when I was talking about it with my younger son, he brought up like, well, they could be fans. And I said, well, that's great. So thanks. That's actually from my little guy. So teddy bear, fan, tear up painty paper, the quote, yes, you can make a rainbow and happy. So I am making these little guys happy. They're all smiling. They're all cheering. They have that like can do attitude. And we've got our confetti going here. We've got a rainbow and I'm trying to emphasize that it's like sparkly and celebratory and yay. And that bear is like, you know, I don't know if they're doing like a hip hip hooray and tossing them up in the air or if he just got so excited, he just like bounced up in the air. And there's my little fan. So this little rabbit's like, rah, rah, you can do it. Holding a little paper fan. That was just a little scrap of paper. I just folded up and then added a little gold paint on it just to jazz it up. Oh, and there's that gold paint. I'm going to make some more sparkles and splatter in the background. I thought I want it to look really festive, really fun. These guys are having a big celebration celebrating that teddy bear what did that teddy bear do what do you think he accomplished he overcame something he triumphed over something they're they're really celebrating yes you can so now you can see how it comes together i have all my prompts here but hold on something was missing hmm Okay, I am interrupting my video to bring you the latest update because if we have a teddy, we must have Mr. Bean. And that's who showed up on this other page. He's going, Teddy, is that you? <laughs> I couldn't help but think of Mr. Bean and his teddy bear that he has on his adventures. So that's it. That's my page. And I've got this week's prompts to do. And I have an eraser right in the way. There we go. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful week. And remember, if something's getting you down, just think to yourself, yes, you can. You can do it. Hey, look at that. I got some blue paint on that doing another project. Oh, dear. Well, you know what? It's not getting them down, though. All right, guys. Thanks so much, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.